Last night, I was reading through this test, the conference call for a second time because it was so meaty. And my wife called. She said I sounded down. And I admit I was really bummed. I told her that the source of my chagrin was none other than Elon Musk. What did he do this time, she said. She thought it was something political. I said, he didn't do anything. I just knew that no matter how hard I worked, no matter how hard I studied, I could never be as smart as this guy. But it wouldn't surprise me if Musk actually uh, cracks the code for both of them. Instead, he's wilding us with talk of the most advanced humanoid robots in the world. He thinks that the long-term value of Optimus, his robot initiative, will exceed that of everything else Tesla has done. And it will... you got to wonder how much of that is real. But even if a fraction of that humanoid robot story comes true, shareholders will make fortunes. Then much talk about autonomy and the joys of the fully self-driving vehicle that he thinks will soon be ubiquitous in every country, including ours. Sounds preposterous. Musk says, and I quote, if you've got billions of miles that show that in the future, unsupervised full self-driving is safer than human, what regulator could really stand? in the way of that, end quote. He argues it will be, become, be part of a customer-owned fleet, kind of like an Airbnb on wheels. He's betting autonomous driving could be a $5 trillion business. And then there's Tesla's energy business, specifically the energy storage backlog. This quarter, energy storage deployments more than doubled, giving the division record results small, but doing incredibly well. As I see it, the key risk with Tesla was that Musk might leave over his pay package. Now that he's staying, I recognize that he's just better than everyone else when it comes to envisioning the future. Today, we're diving into some of the most talked about topics in the tech and auto industries. We're looking at the fierce battles in the cell phone market, how heavy investments are influencing company perceptions, and how these strategies compare to Tesla's groundbreaking approaches. Whether it's the innovation race or strategic financial moves, we're covering it all. So buckle up and get ready for an insightful journey into the world of technology and finance. But first, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Welcome to Tesla Stock News. Let's get started. First up, Jim Cramer. Yeah, that Jim Cramer from Mad Money. He's totally bullish on Tesla. He dedicated an entire segment to praising Tesla, highlighting not just its current achievements, but its future potential. Cramer talked about Tesla's advancements in electric vehicle technology, its expanding global market reach, and the innovations in battery technology that could revolutionize the energy sector. He's especially excited about Tesla's leadership in autonomous driving, predicting that their continued advancements could set them miles ahead of the competition. Kramer also pointed out Tesla's strong financial performance, noting its impressive revenue growth and improving profit margins. He emphasized Elon Musk's visionary leadership, which he believes is a major driving force behind Tesla's relentless innovation and success. Kramer's enthusiastic endorsement raises some intriguing questions. With someone like him backing Tesla so strongly, what's going to happen next? Are we looking at significant movements in the stock market? If you've got shares, this might be the time to buckle up because Kramer's confidence could very well spark increased investor interest and drive the stock even higher. And speaking of big brains, Elon Musk's intelligence got a major shout out. We're not just talking book smarts, but the kind of smarts that actually make things happen. It's like, how does this guy think of stuff that no one else does? He's not just dreaming big, he's making big happen. That's pretty rare, right? Moving on to what really sets Musk apart, his problem solving skills. It's not just about having ideas, but making them real solving problems that seem like brick walls to the rest of us. The guy's a problem solver like no other. You know when he's on something, he's gonna figure it out no matter how complex. It's kinda like he sees a different puzzle than everyone else. And you can't talk about Musk without talking about the people around him. He doesn't just pull in talent, he pulls in the best. And then he pushes them to push boundaries, to innovate, and to basically shoot for the stars. It's like if you're working with Musk, you're not just going to work, you're making history. Now there's a big claim out there that the finance media isn't just about news. Nope, it's about manipulation. The idea is that these media outlets manipulate us, the consumers, to profit themselves and feed into some pretty corrupt entities. That's a heavy accusation, right? Makes you wonder about all the financial advice and news we consume daily. And speaking of manipulation, let's talk about Jim Cramer. You know, the guy from Mad Money, who's always got something to say about stocks. Recently, he's taken a sudden turn in how he talks about Tesla. For the longest time, Kramer's stance on Tesla has been more cautious, often highlighting the risks and volatility associated with the company's ambitious goals. However, out of the blue, he's shifted to a long-term perspective, emphasizing the potential for sustained growth and innovation at Tesla. But why now? He told a great story in the call, but nobody cared and gave, given the downbeat environment for the mega caps of which he has one of them. Now, the irony is, despite Musk's best efforts, today was a day when people said Tesla's just a car company and nothing more. It doesn't have anything in your term that can justify the stock's current valuation. Perhaps you have to buy this week just because of the future, which seems 
very bright. I actually think that makes sense, at least as a place to start buying. What matters is that you have to wait. You have to be patient. You have to be long-term oriented. Still, Musk bankable and the rotation out of the Magnificent Seven could give you a chance to put his genius to work for your portfolio, and it's probably right here worth taking. Tesla has been steadily progressing all along, hitting milestones, expanding its market presence, and pushing the envelope on technological advancements. This sudden shift in Kramer's tone is a bit puzzling. It kind of throws you off, doesn't it? Why the change of heart when Tesla's trajectory has been relatively consistent? That brings us to Kramer suggesting buying Tesla stock. This isn't just a simple endorsement. It's a strong recommendation coming from a highly influential voice in finance. Kramer's bullish stance has sparked a lot of speculation about his motives. Why is he so enthusiastic all of a sudden? Some observers suggest that it might not be just about Tesla's potential, but could involve market manipulation tactics. Consider the influence media personalities like Kramer have. They can sway public opinion, and consequently, stock prices with just a few words. If Kramer praises Tesla, it could drive more investors to buy, pushing the stock price up. This kind of speculation raises questions about the integrity of his advice. Is he genuinely convinced of Tesla's long-term prospects, or is there a strategic move behind his newfound bullishness? Understanding these dynamics is crucial for investors. Media influence on stock prices is a powerful tool, and when a prominent figure like Kramer changes his tune, it's worth digging deeper. What do you think? Is this a genuine shift in perspective, or is there more to the story? This whole scenario opens up a can of worms about potential stock market manipulation through the media. If true, it's pretty unsettling to think our investment decisions might be shaped by hidden agendas. Hedge funds often take positions called long short, which means they bet on some stocks going up while expecting others to go down. But here's where it gets tricky. To protect these positions, some funds might use serious firepower to control market movements. Think about that for a second. It's not just playing the game, it's about controlling the game. And sometimes the methods they use could tiptoe around the edges of what's legal. Controlling the market to protect your own interests? It's a big deal, especially if it bends or breaks the rules. And speaking of bending the rules, let's talk about a tactic that's even shadier, spreading false rumors. Imagine this. Rumors are floating around about big companies like Apple and Verizon. These aren't just any rumors. These are crafted to keep stock prices down or to manipulate them in some way. Why? To benefit these hedge funds in their trading strategies, especially when they involve options trading and positioning limits. It's like creating a play in a drama where the script is written by those who stand to gain the most. What's more, by creating a false impression of upcoming news, these funds can sway the market reactions massively. It's a strategy that might seem clever, but it's ethically murky. And for everyday investors, it's a minefield. How do you make informed decisions when the game might be rigged? Meanwhile, in the cell phone market, the competition is as fierce as ever. Companies are constantly pushing the envelope, similar to how Tesla redefined electric vehicles. Major players like Apple, Samsung, and Google are in a relentless race to outdo each other. They're launching new tech at breakneck speed, enhancing features like cameras to near professional levels, extending battery life to keep up with our increasingly connected lives, and integrating AI to make devices smarter and more intuitive. Every year we see innovations that were previously thought impossible, making our devices more powerful and indispensable. However, this isn't just about who can make the best phone. These companies are also navigating a complex web of regulations, much like Tesla has to with its autopilot and battery technologies. Privacy laws, data protection regulations, and trade restrictions are just some of the hurdles they face. For example, stringent data privacy regulations in the European Union force companies to rethink how they handle user data. While in the US, ongoing trade tensions can impact supply chains and manufacturing costs. This regulatory environment parallels the challenges Tesla encounters. With its autopilot technology, Tesla must comply with safety standards and regulations that vary from country to country. The company also faces scrutiny over its battery technology, especially concerning environmental regulations and the sourcing of raw materials. Tesla's innovation in these areas is impressive, but it constantly has to balance pushing technological boundaries while adhering to these regulations. Switching to the auto industry, let's look at Ford's current financial playbook. Ford is ramping up its investments in electric vehicles and autonomous technology, echoing Tesla's strategy, but with its unique challenges. The legacy automaker is pouring billions into developing new electric models, such as the Mustang Mach-E and the upcoming all-electric F-150 Lightning. Ford is also investing heavily in autonomous vehicle research, aiming to catch up with Tesla's advancements in self-driving technology. 
This massive investment in innovation has led to a certain hesitancy to criticize the company. Many analysts and investors are giving Ford the benefit of the doubt, much like they did in the early days of Tesla, when any negativity was often overshadowed by excitement over its revolutionary approach. Ford's efforts to transform its brand and product lineup are reminiscent of Tesla's journey from a niche player to a market leader. Comparing Ford and GM, much like comparing Tesla to traditional automakers, brings up interesting discussions about balance sheets and market perceptions. Ford, with its heavy investments, is often viewed through a lens of potential and promise. Investors are hopeful that Ford's bold moves will pay off, driving future growth and profitability. This optimism mirrors the investor sentiment that has surrounded Tesla for years, where high R&D spending and ambitious projects were seen as investments in a disruptive future rather than immediate profits. However, Ford's balance sheet tells a complex story. The company has had to manage significant restructuring costs and maintain profitability in its traditional internal combustion engine vehicle segments while funding its EV and autonomous vehicle initiatives. This balancing act is not easy and requires careful financial management to ensure that the company can sustain its investments without jeopardizing its financial stability. GM, on the other hand, has taken a more measured approach, gradually increasing its investments in EVs and autonomous technology. GM's financial strategies and more conservative pace have led to steadier financial performance, but perhaps less excitement compared to Ford and Tesla. Market perception of GM is that of a steady, reliable player, while Ford is seen as a company in transformation and Tesla as the trailblazer leading the charge. And that wraps up our deep dive into today's hot topics. From the fierce competition in the cell phone market, echoing Tesla's challenges in innovation and regulation, to Ford's heavy investments mirroring Tesla's ambitious strides in the auto industry. We've seen how big bets in technology and strategic moves can shape industries and perceptions. So what do you think? Are these companies on the right track with their aggressive strategies? How do you compare these moves with Tesla's approach to innovation and market disruption? Are regulations helping or hindering these technological advances? Don't forget to hit that like button if you found today's discussion insightful. Subscribe to Tesla Stock News for more updates and deep dives into the market trends that matter. Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. We love hearing from you and your input makes our community richer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.